five men. Oh shit, it's going down. No, don't mute mine. No, you're not muted, don't worry. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to Fruit Bar Late Night episode four. I'm back again after Kai stood uh, in for me last week, so the quality of the show has dropped again. Uh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Um, this week we'll be talking about uh, Dick's Nintendo, trips by Scout, uh, Boy Scout Valley, and yeah, more shit. So, um, warm welcome to our guests for this week. I uh, couldn't we have, have said it better. <laughs> we have BH Gamer <laughs> TV or John, as most people Hello. know him by. Say hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, John. Oh, turn off that John. shitty music. I'm just kidding. It's pretty good. Oh, what's it, Katy Perry? Silence. No, what's uh, some electro you. shit? Yeah, we have um, John this week. First of all, um, I'm going to explain what happened last week if they didn't on the show. I was uh, gone to a Boy Scout um, camp. <laughs> Basically, um, yeah, involved a lot of uh, rope climbing. Uh, yeah, it was great. Um, but basically, guys, rope, rope climbing, that's all we did. Yeah, that's rope. basically like all I did. model Boy Scout. Can like the Boy Scouts have your face as their logo? <laughs> <laughs> how many how many medals did you get? Like a uh, fire starting medal and. Uh, you know. Um, I only got. Did the you one kill a bear? Did you oh. kill a bear with your bare hands? Bare fists. Bare fists. Bare fists. Yeah. Bear bear fist. Bear. Well done. Fists. Well did, done. Did you get Did you get your ball cleaner medal? I already had that one before. Like, oh, okay. So I have no worries about that one. Uh, no. Um, let's start <clears> off like always to get things rolling with uh, John's top five games. All right. Um, okay, so I made a list <laughs> prior to this, all right? Wait, one second. I wasn't able to finish. There Wait, go. what did you say? Yeah, there we go. Good? <laughs> okay. We had, to, we so. had an extra co-host on the fruit <laughs> bar for uh, just a little second there. Okay. So, I made a list prior to the stream. I had to put like a half hour thinking into this. Obviously, my number one spot has to go to the game that brought me into online gaming, which is obviously Halo 2. Playing that on the Xbox... Original Xbox was just fucking amazing, and that's where I met all my first online friends. On my dog wants to say hello. Hello. Um, after that, hey, Jack. there's really no specific order. Um, if I do had to put a number two down, it had to be World of Warcraft, just because the amount of money and time I put into that game, it better be on my top five list. <laughs> Which one wins, time or money? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to think about how much time or money I put into it, or else I'll become depressed and I will no longer be in your show. Um, then, actually, a surprise appearance by the new Tomb Raider game. I love that game. Uh, I that think I good. ran through the campaign three times, twice on the 360, and then I bought it again for the Xbox One just to play it in better graphics, is and it, I just fucking love that game. Is it because Lara Croft has the same body proportions as Katy Perry, or...? No, listen, Katy Perry is still better than anyone, so just cool your tits. Okay. To Next be honest, if, I, that, if I'd get shot what? as often as Lara Croft, I'd feel like a plastic bag, man. Come no. on. <laughs> <laughs> um, after that, uh, I put down Mario Party. Uh, if it has to be a certain Mario Party, it has to be Mario Party 2 due to like the awesome cutscenes at the end when you win a game. Like, you go in the space map and everyone's in space outfits. You kill Bowser and Spaceman. It's cool. Um, but I just want to you going in there. Mainly Mario Party one through three are my favorites. I don't think I played anything after that, other than eight, and that was kind of poo. Yeah, the the earliest one were the best. I, I agree. I They're remember, pretty cool. I remember only rage, no fun from those games. It's just, <laughs> I think I smacked someone when I played that game. <laughs> you to, you don't come out with friends. No. Well, basically, if you if you win the game. You win the game, but you lose your friends. So yeah. that's like, like is it worth risk, it? Yes, it's probably. worth it because you can like flip your friends off, and it's very awesome. But then they'll never call you again, and you're like <laughs> stuck alone behind your PC doing some shitty late and night podcast. And then you podcast. end up on the fruit bar cup yeah, podcast. Exactly. Well, that's how we got hey, here. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Eh? <laughs> that's what happens. The thing is with Mario Party Eight, I think I had for the Wii. It was for the only thing about that game, like. The only mechanic to the game was taking your Wiimote and just start jerking it off. Oh, that right. was that game. That's I always won. I always won. That's not like, even a joke. Floor's always won with that shit. That's really there's disgusting. a mini game where legit you have to shake a can of soda. Yeah, I know. And whoever's <laughs> soda goes the highest wins. I mean, it's so good. I can see What's this going, going down. Nintendo? Like we see a game. room of people playing, and it's just like a couple of guys chilling out. You see, Flores loses almost every single game, and then like the little wheel that shows all the mini games <laughs> starts spinning. 
and it goes slowly and stops at like that soda game, and you see Flores' face just goes like, <laughs> <laughs> holy shit! And then I've everyone's just standing in a line. Everyone's a bit awkward, like, wait, this motion is not right. And you just see Flores focus as shit, just. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what I, was going I mean, why do you think I need this wank band? It's not. It's not for the. It's not for it's, the wanking. Guys, it's for guys, Mario Kart. It's, it's yeah. for Mario Party. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been your reason, man. Jeez. Wow, what the hell? You can you charge your whole phone? Yeah, I played some Mario Party last time. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Wait, was that so, number four or five? That was number four. Ah, okay. Number five. I don't have a number five. Just so like when new game when a new game comes out, I can always switch one in and then take it out when a better one comes out. Uh, so right smart. now, I guess it's tied between the two games I'm playing a lot now, which is H1Z1 and also City Skylines, which I'm just playing a shit ton. If my computer's not shitting the bed, which it has been. <laughs> so those are my top five games. I mean, I love H1Z1 too, so I'm not going to disagree with you on that one. And uh, City Skylines pretty popular. I think you touched on that last episode, or didn't you? I wasn't here, guys. I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, Skylines. Uh, right. It uh, didn't. It didn't get released then, because uh, did it? I don't think so. I think it was released the day after. I don't know something like that. that. I think so. That that day or something. I don't know. Um, I, I know Kai and uh, you, Joey, and Pretty Mike much has been playing everyone some of it. on Twitch. Yeah, exactly. But uh, <laughs> I know you guys have been playing some of it. But uh, how, how much did like, you get into it, uh, John? How I much? played it like nine hours the first day it got released. For <laughs> For H and Z one, when it was released, I don't think I played that much that week because I had to go back to school because I live up at school. I'm a student who dorms, so right now I'm on my spring break, so I'm home, and my computer's broken. But you know, I, when I can play it for thirty minutes at a time, uh, I just enjoy the shit out of it. It's so fun. Just I'm bad at the game. I die. I just sit there. I just don't leave. I just talk to the person who Wait, killed me. me. Oh yeah, was it? John, do you remember your most glorious moment in that game, though? You got to, no, you, you got to kill the one and only, the, oh. bear, the bear slayer, the, the, the scoper <laughs> of hackers. The, oh, uh, right. You so, told me that once. What happened was I told Davi I was playing, and we weren't talking on raid call or anything. So I get in a game, and I don't know if he tells me he's in a game too. All I know is just I'm going on a rampage. I killed like five people all by myself. People are like group of, groups of twos. Also, I'm in, ah, I forgot what I was in. I was in a cop car. I jump out. I see a Jeep smoking go ahead of me. I jump out, shoot him. The guy gets out, tries to shoot me, misses every shot. I just, I just lay him to rest. He's just dead. And then I see a message pop up and seem like, oh, I died. I'm like, I fucking killed Kevin. <laughs> I killed Kevin. No. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know where Kevin came from, um, I was uh, home alone one night, and I was on Rayco at like I don't know one a one midnight with Kai and John, and all of a sudden he's like, "Wait, you kind of look like the kid from Home Alone right now," and he's just like, "I'm gonna call you Kevin from now on," and he's yeah. never stopped calling me Kevin ever since, and like half the people don't know where the fuck it came from, so everyone's confused all the time. But now the truth is out. I'm Kevin, and I will never change. I, I am who I am. Kevin Unless you become an adult, and then it'll just be weird. It'll well, be it'll fucked up. Be, have you seen like, like the real Kevin? Yeah, have you seen the kid from like Macaulay Culkin or something? He's yeah, become a crackhead. Uh, yeah, he's weird. He's I like. Don't do math. I get nightmares with his face appearing in it. God. Don't become he, that, Kevin. He did some porn videos, and after that, it just kind of. <laughs> oh my did Jesus! He? he did some, or at least some erotic scenes. More than at least. Do some porn videos. I thought, I thought he was in like some. Uh, a movie where he played a gay guy, but I'm pretty sure he also d dated uh, Mila Kunis for like a while. What? No maybe you're fucking wrong. way. Well, if he did that, he props to him. Yeah, exactly. Meth with, props. I mean, with that face, <laughs> Kevin, there's hope for you. <laughs> <laughs> was gonna you say. get to date Mila Kunis and then break up with her and then just be that one weird that's, looking that's guy. That's worth as fuck though. Like, it's a lot of money coming your way. <laughs> Just but, uh, so smooth. kids, basically, the moral of the story is do drugs and stay home alone. And there you get it. <laughs> and you get to date. <laughs> you and run away from your parents at a airplane uh, or what? It's a fucking airport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take a plane to New York City instead of Florida with your family. Yeah, that's yeah. always a great idea. 
But a uh, smooth as fuck segue. You were talking about uh, Mario Party, and uh, yes. recently some news that will make Sarah Game very happy is uh, about the Nintendo. Nintendo. Wow. Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. It's a thing. No. That... <laughs> no. Um. About the Nintendo. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, it's about Nintendo the Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo announced there's going to be a new console. You're welcome, Kevin. Anyone else? Yes. Yeah, take new it host, over for me, because I can't fucking say that word anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called again? That company from, yeah. from Japan? Uh, so, yeah. Nintendo. Guys, Nintendo. Elaborate. Nintendo, yeah. Elaborate. Who wants to uh, say something about this? Because I'm oh. not the biggest uh, well, Nintendo guy. Basically, it's called the NX. And it's not like the thing. They also like intro. Hands up. Um, they also like introduced something like uh, they were gonna make some health device, but this was not it. So this really was like a console they were working on. Health device. Yeah, they were. They also like said they were making something like in the like in the path of we fit, but more health related. Right. But so no one's ever it. gonna get it. This yeah, is exactly. this, this is actually a console. This is the NX is like actually something that's supposed to be better than the Wii U. So yeah, but are we? I mean, are we I assume a motion gaming, or are we like shifting to an entire nothing new about that yet. There's like very little uh, sad about it. Nintendo and uh, NX just the commercial is just floaters sitting in front of his fucking TV screen. <laughs> <laughs> you shake my hand. Doesn't this look like fun, Nintendo? <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> For all your sexual frustration. <laughs> In my opinion, in order for Nintendo to stay in the market, of course they need to keep their Mario-based games going or else they would have nothing. I mean, if if you have a choice to say you want to buy the next Battlefield, no one does at this point anymore because Harland, shit, shit, but that's another story. Um, you wouldn't want to get it on a Nintendo system. You would either get on your PC, like a normal person, or on a uh, your Xbox or PS4. Okay. But Nintendo needs that certain thing that makes them different, like how, what they do with motion controls and what they do with the gamepad. It's something different that you have never seen before. I think the only reason people get a Wii is because they like party games. And that's the only reason you yeah. ever play Wii is like... Much. Or you're younger that's, that's than yeah, That's a party game. Yes. Because the only reason people ever grab a... The only peop, the only reason people are actually proud enough to say, hey, I own a Wii, is when there's like five drunk people saying like, we should do a game. And then someone's like, oh, I have Mario Party because, I don't know, I just wasted 200 bucks, but I have it. Isn't it for people to say, like, I'm a casual gamer, so I have a Wii U, another PC. <laughs> That's basically... uh, well, in the near future, you can say, I have a mobile phone because they're also going to make games for the Holy mobile shit. phone. Floaters yes. has the best segues. Segue. I know. Can we, can we just okay. take a moment to appreciate that? I, 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 oh, I, take a moment. Very good. Okay, there Everyone bow their heads in silence real so, quick. So, Flores, Flores, Floopy. Yes. Uh, yes, my dear. Um, Bless us <clears throat> with Nintendo mobile phone talk. They're going to make mobile phone games. Like, yeah, that's it. That was it. Um, <laughs> <we're> now, <laughs> are, they going tonight, to be making, are they going to be making new games that are going out on the phone, or are they porting their old games to the phone? Because I, I would I, buy I, a lot of those. I think they're going to do both. Both? On sleep. I don't but see them they're, they're, they're not very talkative. Like, I'll I'll sell them my tagline for like a million. Mobile phone, mobile fun. Oh my! There we go. Uh, did it. Ten million dollars. Nice. Can we I'm like? A millionaire, baby. Is there like a timeout zone where we just mute him? <laughs> <laughs> this is a different channel for that. We just switch. Uh, you just you just jealous because of all my millions I just reeled in, John. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now what I think, man, Nintendo games on a mobile phone is like no one's gonna ever look away from their phone again. Unless they're like phone away and PC. And well, to that's be it. fair, I can see Mario working on it really well. Or Mario, I don't fucking know how you pronounce it well. But um, just because that's like a platform and it's simple and easy to use on it. But uh, like more elaborate game. Well, Nintendo hasn't doesn't have a lot of elaborate games. But <laughs> games like the uh, sports games. Um, like if you have Mario Super Smash Football, I don't know what it's called. You can't play that shit on a mobile phone though. Like you have. The only games that really work on mobile phone from Nintendo, in my opinion, would be like the platformers and. Might, if they could like release like their first Pokemon, they would like also sell. I think. Yeah, I think what a lot of people have that shit already because of. What about the uh, yeah, what about the what? What about the party game? So, because that would be fun because you could basically do it everywhere. Because now you're like, 
restricted to you have to be at someone's place who has a Wii U and who has the game. But yeah. now you can just like you know what they did with DS. If if one guy had the game, then he could share his game with the rest. So you could play multiplayer. So like yeah. if everyone had the phone, just have to download a small file and everyone could play it. So like everyone has 4G nowadays. It's like. You don't have to have Wi-Fi or anything. You can just do it like in the park. Oh, let's play Mario Party and like I'll just yeah. take out your phones controls, and play it. How would the controls work though? Like you they, can, they there's can a lot of out some, some kind of touch controls. I mean, yeah. it yeah. wouldn't be that hard. You can, I mean, you I know. those things have a lot of there's those things have like geoscopes or, or gyro, gyro, gyro things. Yeah, exactly. You know? And you can yeah, you can yeah. play a lot of things with that. Yeah, <laughs> you can play this on your phone. I mean, it, it can could do be like anywhere. a combination. Oh, okay. It could be like a combination of like real life games and like Mario games, something like that. Just a second. I like how all of us went this, and then Max went this. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I just bought I just bought a new battery for my phone just because my battery dies fast, yeah. and I always keep another one charged a hundred percent. I now if this is true. I'm gonna get another battery, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sharpie, Mario games only, and just waste 100 percent battery on that. Well, you should get it like before this fall because they said they would like introduce it this fall. Really? Fall, oh, fall to that's 15. pretty soon. Yeah, like I said, with Pokemon, everyone has the uh, emulators, but I could make a lot of fucking cash if they monetize that. Just like made the official uh, stuff, yep. that would be really yep. popular, I think. And See then... to. Backtrack for a second. We were just talking about Mario Party games on the phone and be able to play that online. What kind of sets me with the new Mario Party 10 that's coming out with this week or next week or something, or it's out already? I don't know. But you're not able to play that game online, and that kind of bothers you're not? me. No, really, it's what? on online. Wow, that's really dumb. That's like yeah. one of the biggest aspects from Nintendo games. I did not know that actually. It's boring though if you play Mario Party on your own. You'd have to have like Skype and friends and shit. <laughs> France, France. Yeah. France. You don't you don't play Mario Party just because the gameplay is so fun. You well, play it because you want to play it with some friends. That's true. Yeah, what if like, like, like what if go. like okay, sorry. Say I, all you guys are not from the United States. If I want to play from you guys, with you guys, I would want to be able to have that online feature, which I don't have. So now I actually had to get my only friends that live here in New York with me to come over to my house and play it when they could just all get the game on their own and they can get more money if they do that. Usually it's like, oh, one of your friends got Mario Party 10. All right, now I don't need to buy it. Yeah, that would be fun though, but they would need to introduce like they have like the Xbox and the PlayStation already have like like a kind of a headset or something that you could actually do like voice chat. Yeah, I mean, because they have that with uh, Smash Brothers. Me, when me and Jay played it together, me and Mac, uh, I was able to talk to her in the lobby, so they have that system implemented right. already. Okay. So. And, well, it would also be fun, like if you have one other friend and you're gonna like play party, then it's not like fun to like one v one him. Yeah. So if you can like just get some other friends or random ass people in there. I think it's it's a feature break. that should be in there. Like it, it doesn't matter if if it's like popular or not. I think it definitely for Nintendo games and party games in general, you should have that option, like always. So not having that in there is it's really not a good choice, in my opinion. Don't think is is there a reason why they did that, or is it just like not there? Probably because they had to make new servers, maybe, if they had to implement that, and they aren't sure if it will sell enough, and they're kind of... Because they lost a lot of money with the new systems because they didn't sell well, so they're really yeah. cautious with like building new shit. I mean, they lost money, but they still have a shit ton of money. That's still true. from That's still true. from just the N64 alone, they still have a shit ton of money. <laughs> but they don't, yeah, but they don't want to like lose and make another major loss with the mobile shit, so they're really cautious. Maybe they're gonna see if people buy it at first, and then if it's successful, they launch like online stuff. DLC so guys, for 50 guys, euros. Everyone buy it so we can have the online stuff. Yeah. That'll be a special right. podcast. This Watch podcast all of us is... just start yelling at each other at the end. This podcast is not sponsored by Nintendo. But <laughs> they buy it's sponsored it. by, by, by Nintendo. Or was Nintendo. it? <laughs> Nintendo. 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 Nintendo, I think it was. Nintendo, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking... That will haunt me forever. Dead speech, <laughs> But um, what happened more like this week uh, was I am Katowice. Uh, I am. Yes. Okay, so there was uh, League of Legends, CSGO, StarCraft. Uh, Co-host <laughs> number six. Um, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> God damn it, Dad. 
<laughs> fucking professional stream right here. That's what <laughs> just happened. Fucking fuck out. <laughs> Oh, you come okay. back in with the belts. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Applause, okay. he kind of left you in a the dark there, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, Joey, can you be my fireworks? I need some light. <laughs> I'll be your firework. That Guys, works. we're going to take a quick break to get our shit together. Uh... <laughs> okay, well, um, the games okay. were uh, League of Legends, CSGO, StarCraft, and was there any... Arstan? Yeah, sh I don't watch that shit, sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, but I think uh, Floopy wants to talk about the League of Legends tournament in particular. TSM, TSM. Yeah, there we go. Well, uh, TSM did good for once. Like, what the well, hell? Maybe some backgrounds for like people who don't watch League, such as it's me. Okay, everyone. so you have like different regions, like... Well, every continent has like their own uh, region and they had like participants from all over the world participate in this one tournament to strive for the best <laughs> wow and it would get like this nice cup and get money and shit well, also, no <laughs> Jesus Christ, keep this talking one. <laughs> yes um so they 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 TSM is usually not that good at online tournaments but they did well and it was pretty damn ac epic how they like beat beat the Koreans who like Wait. usually are the best of the world. Maybe a bit more backstory. Like TSM is basically um, the poster child for NA. So yeah, everyone yeah. Well, there's not a, there's people who like uh, or love TSM, and then there's the people who hate TSM because they're popular basically. Because it's, it's the biggest team. It has like. Really great marketing and yeah. all that stuff. So, are, but are they actually good, or are yeah, they they're, just? They've turned the into a, a but great team much. right now. But they really slacked on nation, uh, international tournaments like lately. Yeah. So um, it was kind of a big deal that they actually won like a big tournament again. Because Katowice is basically the second biggest tournament right now. You have the actual world ch world championships from Riot. I would say third. Because you also what? have all stars. Yeah, but winning that's not that big of a deal. That's more of a hype event. But okay, yeah, so fate, uh, they finally won something again, which was pretty, yeah, pretty hype. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the what was it? Um, you had the Korean teams, which usually steamroll like through the tur these tournaments because they're on a different level most of the time. They got yep. smashed by the some Koreans. Chinese team, I think. Yep, that was pretty weird to see. Um, but yeah, and then the TSM steamrolled them. Like yeah, that was three year all the way. Bam. So basically, NA is now better than Korea, according to CSM fans. But um, <laughs> yeah, um, also yeah. the CSGO tournament was pretty interesting. I don't know if every anyone here watched that, but I did no, not. Sorry, too much I was about busy. No. Tell me about it. No, okay, I'm fucked. Um, so <laughs> I I can see here from chat that Fnatic won it, but yeah. Um, you have Fnatic in CSGO is basically a controversial ass team because they're really good. Like they've won a shit ton of stuff, I think. But they've gotten some controversy for uh, doing some shady stuff. Like uh, one tournament in particular, they used the type of boost, which is when you stand on top of another player and oh, like right. you get a better line of sight. But they used it on uh, like some sort of dead pixel in the air, so you can't even see texture where they stood on and that's not allowed i think no it wasn't a normal boost because normal boosts are allowed but it was like actually uh taking advantage of a glitch and that is not like yeah, not really they stood on top of like a pixel in the air and then they boosted so they were like they could see half the map and it was basically <laughs> cheap right. from then but um they had, had a bit of controversy around that but now they just legit like won the tournament again but, which is pretty <laughs> They actually did it. Yeah. Without cheating. Yeah. No, the CSGO tournament had like a shit ton of viewers as well. Uh, same for the league. They had like uh, yeah. one and a half million concurrent viewers, which is pretty fucking insane. Like, uh, league as well uh, with Azubu and some Chinese site had one and a half million concurrent views, which shows how fucking huge, huge. it's become. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I like how esports is going right now because yeah. it's it's definitely. I mean, if you look at this five years ago, esports was like this thing where thirty people got together in like this warehouse and then they played games for a while and butt then they cracks. won. They won one hundred bucks. Lots of butt cracks. 
Yeah, but they won like 200 bucks at the end, and then now you have like the Dota tournaments, which like pay you out for 1.2 million or something, and whatever. So, I mean, it's it, it's gotten really big. If you know, League of Legends now has to hire an entire stadium in order to host the LCS Worlds, and uh, Dota has the biggest prize pool ever known to esports, and just you know, it's getting really huge as well. Just yeah, the production it's, it's quality. actually a job now, and yeah. I, I did hear like a, a bit of a downside to it because it's so easy to host like a small tournament that professional teams actually complained that there were so many tournaments that they couldn't <laughs> focus on like the big ones because they, they had to do like tournaments all over the world, land tournaments, but also just online tournaments. And there were so many with like smaller prizes, but like the teams that don't win a lot of like big prizes actually have to play all the small tournaments to like be viable yeah. to make a living and they were complaining that there was so much because like a lot of viewers don't like to watch all the small tournaments because they're not really high stakes there are a lot of teams that no one knows yeah and i i, I don't really i mean my, i myself i usually watch like the bigger tournaments i like that because they have like famous casters and and that's enjoyable <clears> but <throat> i don't really care about the smaller tournaments and they they don't get that much attention i, I mean and they're sure there's there's people always watch them because they support their team because that's how it works also in esports but i don't know i i just i, I don't like that there's so many that there's the, the, the just like the the, the tournaments <laughs> to pick from yeah, it's yeah what such they a did, big pool. um with league of legends i know it's the game but uh what they did with league is that they have a sort of a it's the lcs if you don't know it's basically like every other sport like football competition they have like a draft of about 10 teams i think not yeah. sure and they just have like a format where they play each other every week, uh, basically, and then they have like playoffs at the end of the season with the people who have uh, won the most games, which yep. um, and they get like um, a salary. They just get paid for uh, playing every week, uh, which is pretty decent. It's not their main income. That's like the advertis uh, like the sponsors. ads and the sponsors, but they get like paid. I don't. I'm just gonna throw a number out there. They probably get paid like 40k a year for that. Maybe a bit less. I'm not sure. I I don't know the facts, but that's a decent living. Then they get a lot of money from uh, ads and all that stuff, and it basically fixes the problem with a lot there being a lot of tournaments. But it also kind of negates the hype around inter. Well, it doesn't negate the hype. It makes it so there's a lot less international tournaments, which um, it's kind of weird when they only play a different country one time in like only at the world championships or some teams never get to play different countries because they aren't good enough to play at international tournaments so it's a bit of a double-edged like thingy Sword. but yeah but it's like um <laughs> i a thingy is a sword yes <laughs> now i like the format it's just um there's not as much uh, international stuff going on anymore which i like too so it used to be like the thing though, because there weren't really a lot of teams. Like in EU, you had like five teams who were like decent enough to actually play competitively, and in NA you had the same thing. And then in China, it got up like kind of late because yeah. it, it started yeah, there late. like one or two seasons late. But uh, in, in the beginning, you you couldn't host a tournament without uh, inviting other continents because it would be a tournament with four four teams or something, and it would just, you just sit there like, oh, well, it's over now. It's four games. But yeah, the problem the problem that there's so many teams is also like we had in the international last year for Dota. There were like a couple of teams that everyone was hyped for and they had so many fans. And then like in the end, like the finals were two teams that no one really cared about. I mean, they were they were Chinese. Oh shit! Ain't nobody watching and that shit. No, yep. no, they weren't they were they weren't famous or they hadn't done anything great before, so no one really knew them. And it, it was kind of like watching the Champions League finals between Club Brugge and FC Groningen or something like that. It's literally I would like, watch that though. Fucking... But it, but it was like, <laughs> but it was like for a million bucks. But like, the, yeah. like two teams that no one really got hyped about, and that was like such a letdown because the whole tournament was great, but then all the all the like fan favorite teams just dropped out, and you just had these two left, and everyone was like. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. They weren't really, they weren't really that special, but they just had like a good streak on the tournament. That's just, I don't know. I just, I didn't like that. But yeah, it's good that that it's it's like available to everyone and that everyone can can join in. But it's less fun for the viewers. 
Yeah. Yeah, for Liga was as well. They had like some wildcard teams which were from uh, Oceania. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that right, John? Oceania? I don't know. Like Oceanic? The, is that what you're trying to well, say? Oh, basically. Like some Australian, like Australian team and some, uh, what was it? Brazilian team, I think. And cool. I mean, one of the Brazilian teams, like Kaboom Esports, they kind of had an upset, but they still got knocked out like stone cold. They they lost all their matches except for one. Oh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a tragic story, but it's not, it's let's the, not get into that Turkish one. Turkish team as well. And What's yeah, again? so they have these teams from, um, yeah, some countries that don't really play the game a lot and they just get <laughs> steamrolled in worlds and it's just like why do these teams even play when there's perfectly good na and or europe or korean teams that would... yeah no the, the problem with that is that uh, especially like the turkish team i followed for a while i think it's dark north dark, dark horse? horse dark horse i think dark it was horse, or yeah. the problem with that team was they play on the coming at you like a dark horse. i saw john's face <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, the reason no, dark they're, they're on a different it. server, they're on, dark they're on a Turkish server. Dark passages, yeah. Um, they're on uh, the Turkish server. Less so cool name. Less cool name. In EU West or EU East um, uh, competitions, and the problem with that was that uh, Dark Passage wins every tournament ever hosted in in Turkey because it's not yeah. big there, and it's a small region for like uh, server size because it's only Turkey. Because so only five the, people there have a computer. So. Exactly. So <laughs> the problem with that is that uh, you become the best of your region, and then you try to take it one step further, but you can't because you don't have like intercon or you know you don't have smaller tournaments. The only thing you can do to make international play is go to worlds. But if you go to worlds, you're up against like the number one from EU and the number one from NA and stuff, and they're gonna get roughest on because you're shit. It's you're kind of not good. like me being uh, if I became like a gangster. In Custigum, and then I got like sent to jail, and I'm like acting all tough, and I get to jail and just get butt raped by all these fucking actual criminals. You also That's get just... butt raped in Custigum. You go to like <laughs> LA State Penitentiary. Yeah, and like, you just exactly. see, look like... at me, man. I'm from I'm from Custigum, from the hood. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. you just get like I like, broke into a lot people's home. Yeah, <laughs> and then I don't you know just... how that popped in your to your mind like first thing, but <laughs> I stole yeah, a can from... of coke, yo. <laughs> gotcha, man. I'll hook you up. You... Went from losing to Worlds to getting butt raped in LA. I don't know <laughs> what happened there. Florida Flo Flo likes thing. raping people, so we're on that. Yeah, he does. He really Guilty does. At, uh, as fuck. Guilty as fuck. Why? Why did <laughs> you... Hey, so, <coughs> okay. shall we just have a quick notion of the Hearthstone and then move on to oh, another... Oh, yeah, that the game exists. No, sorry, I don't know why I'm trying to talk about Hearthstone. <laughs> Hearthstone's fun, man. Yeah, no, it's it is. Fun. It's just it's not, not a good... good uh, international esports format because I, I think this is the thing with a lot of trading card games with, with Hearthstone especially there's a lot of RNG in that game and yep. you need if you basically if you roll a good RNG you get 6,000 bucks and if you suck <laughs> at RNG you get two two bucks nah there is it's a like, lot of strategy behind it man. there's a lot there's of strategy, a lot there's of strategy. A lot of it. Like, all, like all of those people who joined there those, the, the guy who got number one deserved to get number one but the guy who got number eight might as well have been number five let, let me t put it like that and there's a big difference between running number five and running number eight because you know there's a lot of strategy but there's also a lot of things where it's like i need to draw this exact card or i need to hit this exact thing with this random number isn't it a bit thing. like poker where you have there's obviously going to be people that are really good at it and going to win tournaments, but there's still going to be the chance that they just get people who have double aces every round or whatever. Yeah, I think it's yeah. I think it's exactly like poker because there is a lot of skill involved, but there is an equal amount of luck involved. Yeah, and there's also the bluffing. If you see like the professional tournaments, where they set them like opposed to each other and they can actually see each other's face, yeah, you have to make eye that contact. is just. That is fun to watch because you can actually see them like, you know, like, oh, what am I going to play? Come on, bring it on, yeah. man. See one <laughs> raise eyebrow, fun. like, you sure you want to do that? Like, I watched, the, uh, I watched uh, the tournament that they had on BlizzCon. That was actually fun, like the setting. I like that. Yeah, definitely. The thing, um, the thing is, the, the most fun part for me with Hearthstone, watching um, the championships, is when people come up with new decks on yeah. the spot. So it's like uh, people run this, I don't know, people, you know, uh, hunters in the meta or something. You see this hunter deck and you're, you're all saying like, oh, it's probably just that, that one hunter we all see in the ladder. And then it pops out and it's just like this entire new thing. And everyone's like, why well, I didn't know how to play against this. And then they lose. So 
I love that about it. Yep. It's it's really amazing what the you, you think it's really simple to just build a tech, but the thought that goes into those things is stupid. Like actually stupid. How much people think about that. Yep. Like makes your head hurt. Yes. But uh, I agree. In the end it was a mass against Orange. Someone. Orange, orange, yeah, an orange one, three, three to zero. Yes, yeah. Amaz was like the favorite because he's like super famous. And I, don't, super famous. I don't know a lot about the um, competitive Hearthstone. Is it like people just like StarCraft, or I don't know if that's what StarCraft Fuck. is, but is it like, oh god, are we gonna get some tracking? <laughs> are we gonna get vacuum? Vacuum on the stream? <laughs> just invite your dad, man, come on, you can't. <laughs> just, just get him over, get him like on a chair next to you. Um, normally we spoil we'll ask him. Normally Flores, we will ask him what his top five favorite games are. Come on, <laughs> yeah. bring him up. Normally, bring him up. Pong, back in the oh. we spoil it on Kai's stream normally, but we'll just break it. Next uh, week, we have Flores with Dad, um, <laughs> featuring Vacuum Cleaner. Um, <laughs> we my favorite games time. are, well, I think number one is probably chess. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 I played Tetris when I was 20. Uh, backgammon? Um, <laughs> and uh, vacuuming. No, bridge. Bridge is like the ultimate old people sport. Bridge. Um, Do you play badminton? I have wow. the professional list of topics there. We could talk about um, <laughs> the new game coming up and we'll have to show our beautiful overlay for watching videos. Or we could do that yes. after the break in 20 minutes. No. Or do we want to do that right now? Uh, we can do it right now. Okay. So um, okay. I think I think we 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 mentioned this uh, last week because Bloodborne is getting released. Obviously, only for PS4. Obviously, that sucks. But it looks awesome. It already got like accidentally released by some store in like Canada. I think I read, and uh, it looks really awesome. And I'm I'm really excited for what it's gonna bring. Um, so we're gonna show you the trailer right now and. Um, uh, a we hope you're gonna get hyped. Explanation on what the fuck happened with the overlay. I got this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got this idea like uh, we got this idea on the first thing, but I was too lazy to make a fucking overlay, so I did it like <clears throat> half an hour ago. Um, but I I came to the conclusion that I didn't make a right space for the camera, so John and I are gonna share the top, um, <laughs> like, like always. always. Um, <laughs> Am I and, gonna uh, be on bottom again? It's gonna look a bit, little bit freaky, but I think you could see our face, uh, can see our faces and uh, all that great stuff. So let's get that rolling. Fire right it up! Now. One sec. Um, well, then I should like open does it. Everyone have the link. Time. Yeah, I do. From Hold the Bloodburn train. Oh, it's think. loading quite. Oh, there it is. Okay. Holy there shit! Is. This looks so ghetto. Like this overlay. <laughs> Max Just tell me when you uh, right. start watching it. So okay, of course. Right. I'm, I'm Let's like, all queue up at zero seconds. People in chat can watch as well. Um, let's see. Does everyone have it? I do. Yep. At zero as well? Yep. Okay, yep. I can count down from five and then we play it at the same can you? time. <laughs> I don't know if I can. It's going to be a challenge. But all right. Three, rain. two, one, go. Yeah. I fucked it up. <laughs> Whatever. No. I gen first. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Blood and gore. Oh, shit. Oh, too much water. Too much blood. Too much water. Oh, look. I think, PlayStation. It, I think the graphics on PC just would be so amazing because it already yeah. looks sick on PS4. The copyright strikes are going to be real. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. What is this? This is like some Hey, we're selling their game to like 20 shock. people, man. What's the problem? Welcome home, good hunter. What is oh, God. It you desire? Oh, this is voice acting. Holy shit. I desire. This is definitely a different style from the Dark Souls games. Yeah, it is, but it's the atmosphere that really sells it for me on this one. Yeah, it looks great. It reminds me of... Uh... God, what does it remind me of? Uh... A bit of Assassin's Creed Dark Souls style. Yeah! Yeah, but th this has got some really creepy ass shit in it. I think it's more horror orientated this time. It's like a, it's like a Van Halen, kind of. Yeah, Vampire Van right. Halen? Once I see gameplay, I'll be able to judge. <laughs> I don't know if there's. Well, okay, yeah, that's oh, creepy. Shit, we have I'll, I'll pass. Okay. I'll wow. pass. Oh my god. That's babies. It's like the fucking PT demo. Well, what's, what's that? <laughs> that's what you get when you pick up girls at the abortion clinic. God fucking damn it! No. Oh. Oh my Jesus! This game is gonna be creepy as shit. Yeah, I know. Oh, it looks great though. I'm gonna yeah. say, like. Damn. That's not possible. But... 
bitch, it might be. I'm <laughs> very, this this, very this looks so gorgeous. I'm very you can't skeptical deny this. Graphics, though, but... Our thirst for blood satiates us, soothes our fears, but beware. The frailty of men. Oh, Holy shit. What Whoa. the fuck? What the Mortal, hell? you will look like this as well in 10 years. Oh my like Jesus. Seven. Okay. There's Fucking some gameplay. dead space as well. Oh, nope. Makes us more than human. Makes us human that no what more. makes us human makes us more than human. This is badass though. Damn. This looks great. That looks bloody that's... as fuck. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. Does Dark Souls have weapons? It's Groot! I... No, it, it does. Uh, guns and whatnot? No. no. <laughs> this Holy smash shit, right? Good smash Your presence somehow soothes. <laughs> you desire. Yeah. Get Eden. In so Om nom. begins again. Oh my god, I'm gonna buy the shit out of this. I want to I want to have this game so badly. It's okay. unreal. Let's I might just get this because overlaying. I don't have any games on my PS4. They're actually the gonna. Remake. They're actually gonna like introduce uh, some new features in it, so it's not just gonna be Dark Souls recycled, put on a new coat. They actually you put some guns. new stuff in it. Um, it because they, I think they were focusing more on the online concept because there is more to do online. I think they wanted to implement that you could actually send like direct messages and stuff. <laughs> Fuck and, you, mate. Um, <laughs> And they, you um, evade me? they they created some kind of dungeons that you could do with your friends that are like really tough or like really expanded and like random. So you could do these dungeons and yeah, basically like go up, not just the campaign, but then like like literally dungeons actually. Like you finish with a boss and all. And I, I just think that would be great. Yeah. More multiplayer focus because like some people play it solo. I like it solo because it's meant to be played solo, of course. But it's also fun to play with friends. <clears throat> Definitely. So yeah. I, I like that they're gonna like get a better focus on that. But yeah, you know, PS4, PlayStation Network sucks dick, so get it to PC and uh, you only got thing me. is that we good, we good. If it's Thanks, as, Lizard as, Squad. If it's as hard as Dark Souls, I'm not gonna be able to get past like the. It's tutorial. gonna be harder. They Fuck. created. Uh, they created. <laughs> they created a new game plus, where it's actually. Um, the developers couldn't beat it, so they had to like <laughs> screw it down a bit because it was too hard. They they were like, uh, "This is too hard for people. If even we can play it, is it harder <laughs> than our joint penises from uh, watching that trailer?" Probably, yes. probably wow. yes. Wow, that's mm. impressive. So I just really like the I really like the style. I like that they didn't just get like uh, another Dark Souls game and like yeah, go, go for the medieval that, thing all over again because they've explored that. And now they they did like a, a city like kind of Victorian style thing. I just, I, I, it looks so good. I really want it, but I don't have a PS4. <laughs> like Max said, though, I'm I'm also skeptical about the graphics being like good, but it, um, I, I, mean, I don't mind. Dark Souls it. games have never been about the graphics, though. No, that's what I was gonna say. Like, it doesn't really matter as long as the atmosphere is like right. And, and I judging gonna... judging by the trailer, it looks creepy as fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. Those those babies, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll pass. If my All dad comes that... in while playing that game in terms of the light, I will shit my. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the game will be like a good for streaming? Because I don't. For Obviously, Mac, yes. yes, because it's a. It, <laughs> it, it can either be good for like. Um, comedy value. Yeah, comedy value or like actual skill. Because if it's gonna be harder than Dark Souls, it's gonna be fun to watch people actually beat it. Because I was I was playing Dark Souls 2 uh, the other day, and I was uh, I was fighting this boss, and I, oh, I did it like 20 times. I failed, and I watched this video of some guy doing it, like no sweat, like almost with one hand, like oh yeah, I beat it. And I was just watching, like how oh, are you so good? I want to be so good. This, this is, is awesome. Like what happens when Wit Nuke speedruns Bashi? It's yeah. it's basically gonna be a uh, man versus games. Uh, Oh. What he's going to do for the rest of his life, probably, this new... 100% uh... Dark Souls again and again. Yeah. I hope I don't have to update the death counter if Jay plays that game. Cause... <laughs> oh, God. Holy no. shit. But yeah, speaking about things that make streams good. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the fuck. <laughs> that fucking segue. Yeah, exactly. That so segue. Right. So I set Cause... it up and you just oh, fucking geez. smashed the shit out I of just it. put it right in there. You broke the net. <laughs> oh, you can put it right in there, Joe. Oh, God. He, he did. Because there are, like, obviously so many streamers out there right now, and they all do different things. 
but there there's got to be like uh, like a, a a golden thread that that binds them all together and, and makes something a quality stream and but video so games. what is it though what is it <laughs> yeah but everything on twitch is video games but what is it though uh, i think what is it that makes the difference between oops. a shitty stream and a fun stream for oops. me the main quality like the core quality has to be that you have to be able to sing uh last Furby new by uh katie perry the <laughs> similar version uh like yeah. the entire song just a cappella. if you can do that yeah. you're you're done for me yeah, just you're in. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no, but um, uh, I'll think of a serious answer. But does anyone want no. to take that? Oh, that wasn't serious. I think. Um, <laughs> let's John speak. Little. Let 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 John speak a little. Um, I would say communication with your chat. Obviously, yeah. you just don't want to sit there and not talk to them. Like, say some famous actor that everyone knows goes on Twitch. And does not communicate to chat. I know a lot of people stay there, but that won't interest me at all. Like I want to yeah, see that person be able to talk to me in chat. But if That's you want to say, if you watch like Soda Pop and or Lyric or like those, like the chat just goes so fast you can't even read it. How are they supposed to? They start because they off, read like though. they read the donation message. They don't stay silent. They, no, they don't they stay talk, silent, of course. They talk you through not, it. They don't just like play a game and let you watch them push buttons. They they like. They talk to you and stuff, but it's it's not really being interactive with the chat, but more like the viewer as a whole. I think it's like obviously think, like ninety percent of their viewers is just like fucking around and trolling and, and stuff. Yeah, and I th think for if you want to become a, a big channel, there's a lot of phases you have to like go through to become that because in in the beginning you need to communicate with your your chat and you first need to phase, do that. Suck dick of your chat. Second exactly. phase, exactly. Suck that get dick. Your like, dick suck it hard. My chat. Hi, fucking Steven. <laughs> Um, but you know, when when you start off, there's 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 definitely a thing where you have to like uh, communicate with your chat and keep keep an eye on it because you want that one viewer to feel home. You want that one viewer to stay there and attract one more viewer and keep doing that. But um, after a while, you're gonna get a bigger audience and you're gonna not be able to keep up with chat. And then then it's like the period when you're when you need to get. I'd almost call it, call it a gimmick because we we talked about this yesterday over. Over rate call, but we, you need to have that one thing that keeps it interesting, even when you're not talking to chat. You need to have that one thing that makes you unique and make people go watch you instead of someone else. And that could be, you know, having great skill at one game. That could be a being in, insanely funny. That could be showing your cleavage every like five seconds or two followers or something. Or doing that's a what John great does. Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. <laughs> Speaking of which, Clem Taco is in a chat and he just posted a. Uh, comment on this we don't usually talk about chat but he's uh got timed out so he said that <laughs> but he got time out we, we feel bad <laughs> wait let me read this out uh i feel there's an uh, uh wait an uh, up here well where basically there's an audience Wonder out there for everyone whether you sit there and play the game serious and teach via visual teaching without talking to chat being completely interactive with your chat and playing hard to show how to be good or being an entertainer in the sense of jokes and stuff. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Uh, basically, just you have a, have a core quality that sets this, you apart. This is uh, this is my Jack, by the way, John. I don't have a cat next to me. Sorry. Yeah. Um. In my opinion, yeah, Pardon? that's what Max said. You have to have something that sets you apart, which it's it's really hard to like just get back via personality because it's hard to find a stream if someone's just got a great personality. You have to have yeah. something like in your title or. That people can share, like, oh, this guy is doing well. For example, in a giveaway, that's gonna draw people, or yeah. um, this guy is doing push-ups for every time he dies in uh, Dark Souls, and it's like, <laughs> well, that guy's gonna have a fucking hard time. I'm gonna watch that shit. <laughs> and oh, no, the thing is, you can get famous on personality. You just can't get started off on personality. You need yeah. like people like I, those I, huge I, streamers, like I don't know, for Hearthstone, Kraparian, Amaz, and Trump. Those are three. Entirely different people. You probably don't know him, but Amaz is this super overhyped dude about everything that happens. He screams and he yells and he's he gasps. He does everything. Wait, who? Crip is just uh, Amaz, the guy who went second in the Hearthstone tournament. Oh. Uh, then you have no. Kriparian, who is uh, there. Are, there, are, all three of them are Hearthstone streamers. Kriparian is just like the super salty guy, who <laughs> like rages about everything and every time something goes wrong and he's really unlucky about it. So it's kind of funny. And then you have Trump, who's basically the most stoic guy ever. If he loses, his face will not move. If he wins, his face will not move. Basically, Dyrus from League of Legends. Yes. Just 
but he's really good. Like he's really smart and everything. But those are three completely different streamers, and people watch them for different reasons. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, exactly. You're you're talking about them, and they all have like their own trait, like yeah. who they are. But there are so many just mediocre streamers that are just playing a game and letting people like people watch you play a game, and that's like because there are so many people who do that it's it, that's not going to get big anymore and, and people are not really interested in just the game it's about just more than the game it's it's the streamer it has to be a show i usually yeah. don't even watch uh i don't watch the the streams for for the game unless it's like a really funny game but then it's more because of the reaction i mean if Make if i would really like want to see a game i just play it there are people who like don't play games, but watch streamers. They like play it, and and that's fun too. But that's not that's not what does it for me. You have to have like a certain personality, like be funny or, you know, be be really salty or. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to have something. You can't just be mediocre, like just playing a game and showing it to everyone. Because let's plays is like, that's no. It's a big no no. I saw Flores' follow list, and I noticed you follow a lot of uh, girl gamers. What is it that you look into uh, for, like, uh, watching a stream? <laughs> oh, well, well, it's funny that you say so, because I also follow a... L no. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> Where were you I, going? I, I just see, like, nice cleavage, and then I follow them. That's also how I got to you. Like, it was, like, in the title, like, show boobs for every follow. So then I was like, gotta check it out. <laughs> And that's how I got to Joey. He said, "Like sexy, sexy pussy." Yes, it's no, I have weakness. It's definitely what Joey said with uh, the let's play. Like, it used to be a fact where you played one game and you were the only guy playing that game back when Justin TV app and you know stuff like that, and people only ever visited because because YouTube. But now we're in like this time where. Whatever game you're gonna play, there's gonna be some someone else who's gonna play it. Like there's gonna be some 99 guy, someone else's. Exactly. There's gonna if it's at least a, a, a kind of recent game, people are gonna be playing it. So you need to be different from those people in order to get those viewers. Because if you're sitting there, you're playing that game, and people are looking for a certain game, they're not gonna watch just the first guy and look at doing a really uh, boring stream and just be like, yeah, but he's playing my game, so I'm just going to stay here. They're going to look for the same game, but someone else who plays it. So you need to, one, play an interesting game, and two, make sure people stay after they see your face and not cry. Yeah. Say, so, like, say Lyric is playing H1Z1, and once he's done playing, you know that no one else big is really playing H1Z1. Play that game when he goes offline, because those yeah. people look toward to other people who are playing H1Z1, and they might go to you. Like, I know I streamed the other day when everyone was, or last week or somewhat, when everyone was at PAX East, and I streamed after a lyric was done. I got, like, up to 25 people on my channel at once. It was awesome. It's, it's how Kai got that, like, 100 follower training one day. It was when this really famous guy stopped playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and yeah. then they all just switched to Kai. Like... It's, it's I mean, it doesn't work when you're like, if a big streamer's playing like Barbie's best boob job fantasy or something, then he stops streaming. It's not that his viewers are gonna jump over, but like H1Z1 is a really good game for that. Yeah, they just leap right on to the next biggest. Like, uh, oh, we just we just doubled in viewers like in in a, in a blink. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, probably well. someone. Probably some really famous guy stopped uh, stuff with his talk show, and we just <laughs> leased his viewers. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But but, uh, but I think is this is kind of like um, it's it's a touchy touchy subject. But do you do you guys think that looks matter? Because like obviously people like to watch like oh hot girls woo so funny. But if you look at like the the biggest streamers, some of them are really like like just like regular guys or like average looking. I, and and people don't watch like oh he's so handsome oh because oh. because people people like to watch a, a handsome girls this like uh, a, a, an example but they're not gonna stay there just because he's handsome because it's gonna get boring really quick so it's more I think in that way it's more about like character and being funny and being like witty and interactive than just being a hot Pretty. girl I think it's a good thing to have but not a necessary thing to become big. I think if you're pretty, you're gonna have like this this plus fifty follower boost like off Instantly. the bat because you look pretty. There's there's gotta be more people looking at your channel when you're starting off small because people are scrolling through that list and they're like fat guy, fat guy, fat guy, fat guy, chick, and they're gonna click on a chick because they're they're dudes. <laughs> but in the end, you know, 
for making people stay. It's it's good to have more people check you out, but it's not a good thing to have people stick to your channel because you still need to be fun and interesting if you want to. Like, I mean, the solution you. seems to be if you're like sort of pretty and you get a viewer base, you just need to like copy people's Christmas trees, just buy their Legos, and that will get you pretty big, I think. <laughs> ooh, that. Ooh, 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 I mean, I'm not dropping ooh. any names here, but uh, yeah. Uh, oh, so someone in the in our lovely Skype chat that you can't see, cause ha, has said that he has to piss like a horse. So uh, we're gonna call in a little uh, bathroom break. Uh, let's see. Um, gonna mute everything so you will only hear our lovely music, and we'll be back in about five to ten minutes. Probably five. See you guys in five minutes. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> and thanks, Clam, for the host. By the way, thanks a lot. Uh, bye. Yeah. I didn't let these guys prepare. Welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, we are going to answer some viewer questions, I think. Or do you want to hear me talk about some stories about London first? Cause I, and Boy yes. Scout Camp. Yes, do that. Which Go one? first. Tell us about Boy Scout Camp. Okay, well, Boy Scout Camp. Um, should, I, should I let out the truth? Yes. Okay. Were you touched? It, it wasn't that... <laughs> Oh, Joey just, muted himself, just me, which is like oh, great. You look, yeah. Show me where they touched you. Um, <laughs> I, just, I wanted wait, to go wait. full mime there. <laughs> <laughs> great. Professional. They, they touched me in the eye. Um, no, but, they, um, they touched your feelings. Yes, my heart. No, but Boy Scout Camp wasn't actually a Boy Scout Camp, if anyone didn't know. Um, it, this is... Uh, we lied. Yeah. I was actually on a private jet to, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I was on a camp with my uh, study and we basically did some uh, team building exercises, which was pretty horrific. Um, I don't know if anyone saw the picture on my Facebook, but I had a great time. Um, Looked so fun, a, man. You're not my yes. friend on Facebook. Oh, wait, yes, you are. Yes, I am. Uh, wait, the music's Ouch. still going. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, it was kind of... Uh, a weird thingy. It was kind of fun in the evenings, but the days were just me rope climbing, and that was all. But <laughs> then um, Better Chef came along, and I went to London, which was a great football match, uh, Arsenal-West Ham. Uh, I saw some guy piss on the other guy, so that was basically my experience <laughs> on, in England. Um, no, but You're what taking the piss, mate! You're literally taking the piss, mate! No, what happened was, we were like above the West Ham stands, so uh, there was a bit of banter going on, but the thing is... Banter! Banter. Now, in England, banter is just like a bit of joking around, but then sometimes it gets a bit out of hand, or a bit... Yeah. So what happened was this guy and this other guy down uh, below were yelling at each other, and the other one was like... I think he yelled something about cock size, and the other guy was like, wait, you'll have to see about that, mate. So he whips his cock out. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? And I guess he just wanted to prove his size, but the thing was, he had whipped it out, and then he thought, was like, well, I've got it out anyway, so let's do something with it. So he starts taking a leak on the fucking guy below him and gets sent away by the stewards. <laughs> What a guy. Yeah. Well, what the fuck? England. So, I, think we, I think we just lost half our viewers. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> no, uh, that happened at the football stadium. So then I went to a museum, Tate Modern, which is basically people being pretentious as fuck. Which is great, to be honest. Like like us. Like Joey in special, uh, in particular. But um, Hey, I'm wearing a tie, man. Just because I'm, I'm pretentious. The thing was... Fucking English people are so blunt uh, sometimes that there was like this uh, hall and it was quiet as fuck. Everyone's just staring at these uh, paintings and it was all like pretty serene. And then all of a sudden there comes this fucking fat bloke. He's r he's just bloke. like he's not running. He's just After one week. like he has this swag. Can you stand up and do it for us? I don't know where I'm pants right now, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, you got your dick out peeing right now. <laughs> 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 no, but this guy has got the swag walk. He just goes inside the fucking room. He looks to his right and says, Look, that guy's just screaming between your pits of a uh, pair of tits, mate. What, what is this? And then he's just going on, like explaining all these pictures, like literally, because there's a bunch of fucked up shit that they painted, but it's symbolism, so it's fine. But there was literally a guy 
There was like uh, a painter who painted a pair of breasts, and there was a guy like in the middle, like the the I don't know if you know the scream painting. It's like some guy. Yeah. Well, someone did that, but then there was like a pair of boobs next to him, and this guy was just staring at them for like a minute, not understanding <laughs> what the fuck was going on. So he starts yelling through his fucking room, and it's just Britain is great, mate. This <laughs> Britain's great, mate. Yes. 8 out of 8. Do you rate it 8 out of 8? <laughs> um, well, there's a bit of, like, a lot of water, but, well. You said there's a lot of water? <laughs> Especially during the match. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, six, no, no. Six, six, out out of, 6 out of 10, too much water. Um, but yeah, uh, no, but I had a great time. I just, the only thing that uh, will I will remember forever, that, like, the moment that guy just When you saw unzipped, your penis. And just when you hit puberty, yes, that was. Uh, I will forever remember that moment. But yeah, so that was my uh, boy like scouts. Five minutes uh, ago, when you started singing. So yeah, guys, uh, speaking about uh, unzipping and things that will do you from behind, uh, especially pub publishers that do you from behind. EA games. Wow. There we go. Like, Battlefield. This Can we this, this fucking segway, evening segway is night? beautiful. Battlefield Hardline, guys. Uh, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, John, what do you expect of it? Okay, so I did a little research. I want a Metacritic right now, and I brought <laughs> up research. the scores. And um, right now, a Metacritic has a seventy-six for a Battlefield game. I don't know. I feel that's kind of low. I I want to expect if I'm paying sixty dollars for an EA game, it has to be eighty-five or I say eighty or above. Seventy-six is a bit low. Um, you have a few reviews coming in saying um. Sadly, after playing for hours, uh, it's become very clear that this is just a DLC for BF4, which I agree when I saw yeah. I'd never played that. Everyone, everyone yeah. instantly realized that it was just going to be a, Cops and a, robbers for a quick run for the cups. money. Yeah. Um, I've got that sick... I've uh, Oh my god. I've got that sick to my stomach feeling, that realization that I've just wasted my hard-earned money. I'm more disappointed in myself than with the developers for Fool Me Twice, Shame on Me. And that was from <laughs> The Voice of Reason. That was depressing. <laughs> I feel shit. So I know, I know for a fact, I was watching Lyric play early today, and when I didn't watch him play online. I watched Angry Joe play online. It seemed, uh, I don't know, it didn't really seem like I wanted to throw 60 bucks at the game. Maybe I'd rent it if there's still blockbusters around, but there isn't, so fuck me. Um, so um, I was watching Lyric play it, he was playing the story. The story just seems like it's some cheesy That's, I mean, cop the, the, show the off of, story, like, Fox. The fucking story in story. Battlefield games is like, wow. Like, this oh, is like fucking God, story. Top, the, watch out the, world. Guys, I gotta give it to them. The, the Bad Company games, they were actually fun, and yeah. the story was actually fun, but the rest was just fucking so horrible. <laughs> uh, uh. What I like the most about the campaign is you're, you're playing a bad cop, right? Did I get that right? Yeah, I think like it starts off with you on uh, going off to prison, and another guy going out like, "Oh, I, I hate those bad cops, whatever." Yeah. <laughs> no, but the the thing is, there's a mechanic in that game where you don't kill people; you arrest them with your badge or something. <laughs> like if you scream "freeze" with your badge, and it's, it's you get more more points for doing it that way, but it's also more risky because there could be a dude behind you, and it takes some time Wait, to like, yell "freeze." Is that in? I think that's actually a mechanic. I think I saw something about that on that's the not PU in, like article. The actual, like in the actual Battlefield. No, 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 right? no, no, no. It's in the single player. But it's not like a glitch or something. Like everyone online just go "freeze." <laughs> like actually, it's not like freeze. Massive changes, guns, and they're going like freeze. People screaming "summit" in H1Z1. Now people are screaming "freeze" in Battlefield Hardline. Yeah. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> They like for the single player they already fucked up with that because it's a it's an FPS single single player or story mode which is usually bad like especially for Battlefield and COD games Call and then they no, made no, it no 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 no, no 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 Call of Duty had really yeah. awesome stories no lines. no they they were shit no uh, no 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 I wouldn't say all Call for of you Duty FPS games have casuals good that lines. would be good but they're shit the new Black ones Ops have Black Ops storyline yeah no, shit. Was... multi multiplayer was like uh, like the, a guy peeing on another guy at a football match <laughs> but single player that was so good it was it was actually the first Call of Duty game on veteran that was actually hard Joey might you say better than Skyrim fuck off <laughs> don't go there don't go there but I think that, I think that Dragonborn will uh, will release his rage if I say that <laughs> I will whip up my cock and pee all over you Mike <laughs> 
No, but they they went the, they went for like the exact classic traps that an FPS game can fall into, which is shitty a single player game and keeping the same mechanics from the previous multiplayer game, only reskinning it. And being this released by EA on fucking Origin. That's, that's that's like the biggest sin of all of them. But <laughs> Origin this is this the biggest reskin I've ever seen. Dude, just, if if I was like a virus scanner uh, software company. I would just like select the origin as this program is harmful to your computer. Do you want to delete this? Come on. Origin, guys. I will delete this for you. Who yeah. uses Origin? Origin. I, I use a... it. The only reason I, I have it. it on my computer is because I still need to install Dragon Age Inquisition. And that's the only game I, I mean, would ever use. Origin itself is not a bad system. It's just the games and the company behind it. It's retarded. I like, mean... I, I have Origin for The Sims and SimCity. Which... Kind of is a segue. I don't know Let's if you guys discussed this last week, but Maxis shut down. Yeah, we... and that is you did discuss it. Yeah, uh, kind of. Okay, uh, yeah. You, you, you can you can it if you want. No, no, it's whatever. You guys talk about it. You know, it's not fun anymore. If you actually like watched this cool. show, John, you'd know. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I right now? <laughs> not watching. I'm watching it real this time. Is. This is fantasy. But oh, I am kind of depressed that Max is shut down. I wonder how that's gonna go. Obviously, yeah. other other companies are gonna jump. are gonna jump right into that hole, like yeah. they already did with City Skylines. But it wasn't just, and I, I really I just want to say that again, they really deserved all the attention and all the the love they got. It was a really good game. It's addicting as fuck, and. Uh, it was like really cheap on release, and they didn't just want to milk you out. They just wanted to bring you a fun game for a fun price. So that's like, Jesus Christ! You're the very biggest positive. fucking marketing manager ever. At first, you're a slogan. <laughs> He's wearing his tie, yeah. a fucking button-down shirt. He's ringing. Are there any dash watching right now? Because we <laughs> we're ready to be sponsored by Steam Skylines. Guys, He's who just plays? Gonna submit this as a resume. Who plays video games anyway, man? Come on, keep it real, man. I'm just gonna, you know, just, you guys just go on. I'll just do my thing here. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'll just I'll just I'll just, I'll just cut two cut two holes in it like <laughs> <laughs> Because this is the seventies and that works. But no, yeah, it's it getting is... kinda of depressing now seeing mm -hmm. how Battlefield like games like Battlefield Hardline are going for sixty dollars plus like the hundred twenty special edition where all it is like reskins and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd rather pay like again, I'm gonna bring a H one Z one again. I'd rather pay, was it, $20 for that originally just to play in beta, even though it's going to be free to play? Because I'm going to get more out of that game than I do in Battlefield, a $60 game. It's yeah, but, I mean, people, people are still buying it. That's why they're doing it. If I did people the same would, of Call of Duty, though. If people would all say, like, F fuck you, if you're going to release, like, a shitty re-fucking copy-paste that game, every year we're not going to buy our game. And if they would do that... They would stop it, but why do you think they're doing it? Because actually, people, people buy are still Call, buying it. Call of Duty it. syndrome. I did it as well. It, uh, there is year. a reason. There is a reason why indie games are like getting vastly popular right now, and it's usually among gamers that are a bit more serious or tend to spend a little more time and, yeah, and money exactly. on it. Yeah, but exactly. Because would... those games are actually new and innovating and not. Yeah, they, because they have to be, but I mean, yeah. a, a big ass triple A company that has like sacks of money. They they actually sleep on money. money. They can do whatever they what they want to do. They they have to. They can put as little as effort as as they can into a game and still make millions of dollars. Then why would they like create a whole new game, a new engine, like oh interesting story? If they could just like uh, let's just uh, a million dollars, woo! I mean, yeah. No, it's, I mean, it makes sense, but yeah, it's still it it's really rotten for the gaming industry. I think. I think. But yeah, exactly. Kind of indie games. Yes, one day. Indie games are gonna. Indie games and indie developers are gonna be the next. Uh, next thing, as long as they're not fucking making it, like the word. Uh, early the, access. Like early <laughs> access. There we go. There we go. Let's not go so into I that rabbit hole. I stopped yeah. pre-ordering video games. Yes. I, I'm totally done doing that. I'm done going. Like the only time I will pre-order a game is that I know that I won't be able to get it. Day one. Yeah. I, I tip my hat to you. <laughs> pre ordering. Like, basically, the only reason I'm ever going to pre order ever again is when the new Elder Scrolls comes out. That's the only reason I ever. 
Besides it's that, it's not gonna come out though, Max. I'm uh, sorry to break your dreams. Fallout Four, Max. I gotta say, I we're waiting work. a little bit longer on Fallout Four, so you can just like go <clears throat> no. right ahead to your Elder Scrolls Online thingy. Oh God! Oh God! We're gonna have our Fallout, that's, man. That's not. That's not a thing. In I'm series. gonna play the <laughs> shit out of Fallout Four. Can you imagine if they would have just released Skyrim? Well, awesome game, and they would just make Skyrim Two or something like the same thing, like Skyrim so Two or Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and man. before the new right. Elder Scrolls is then, only for Steam. Well, that's, that's kind of what 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 is heading to because I haven't in a long time like had any any triple A game I was actually excited for, like. Once they released the, the, they announced that, that new Halo, I was like, it's just going to be another Halo. Ooh. Assassin's Creed, like, oh my god, it's going to be in, in, in Paris. Oh, It's like, uh, it's just going to be the same thing. And I, I hate that it makes me feel like that, because like, back in the day, it was like you saw this trailer like on, on E3 or whatever. Like, oh my god, this is going to be the new game. And now it's just like, seen this, seen yeah, this, yeah. old, old. For me, for me, there's like, I think, three companies that make... Uh, AAA games work. That's B Blizzard because they are actually good at their job. That's uh, Bethesda because they're good at their job, and there it's uh, Nintendo because whatever you do, if there's a, if there's a new Super Smash coming out, people will freak the fuck out. You forgot like the literally the best one. Bioware, right? Games? Valve, Valve. Valve. Yeah, Valve. Okay, fine. Fine. They're not. They're not exactly. But indie they don't anymore. release games anymore. This <laughs> exactly. They don't release games, but they still everything. They, I mean, it's good. Like they say, like oh, everything we made so far is good. Let's just not make anything ever again. So they'll say like, oh, Valve is good. Yeah, you exactly. know they're working on the next. They're working on Left 4 Dead 3 right can, now. Can you guys imagine though if they would make Half Life 3 and it would be shit? If it would get like a six. It's meta not score. going to be amazing. It's like, not going to be it's released. Never going to be good. It's They're not going to release the it. the most hyped up game in exactly. history ever. They cannot and make that game less than an 8. If they make it less than an 8, like, I, I don't know. I don't even know what would happen. They I think need to be the, that, that needs to be the first game to be virtual reality and be good. Because that's <laughs> the only way Half-Life 3 is ever going to get like up to the hype it's, it currently has. Do you guys want to hear like the, the, the title of like the, the worst nightmare I could ever have? No. This, this, like, sit down in your chair. Because if, if this would happen, if this, this would show up in the news, I would probably uh, eat my PC because I wouldn't ever have to touch it again. If quote him on fucking, that. Someone quote that. Someone write <laughs> that down. Write that down because it is gonna happen probably. Facebook buys Valve. I would literally just stop. I would never <laughs> touch my computer. No, I would Facebook try. It's like the worst thing that what's could ever happen. Facebook bought what's that other? The first Oculus. virtual reality. What was it? Yeah, they bought Oculus, Oculus Rift. Rift. Yeah, and Valve is the competitor to that right now because they have their own uh, VR headset coming Which out. Which is so going to be like 20 times better, yes. So Facebook, I feel like I don't think they can legally buy out Valve because <laughs> they will be a monopoly. Then, And monopolies are illegal here in the U.S. They're mm, it illegal. wouldn't be a monopoly. There are other like virtual reality systems. No, but not... No, but I'm saying if share. Facebook buys Valve... They're buying over their competitor. You know. Can that. we? Can you just never say that sentence again? Because uh -huh. it, oh, it makes me fucking <laughs> goosebumps all over. It's the not. Place. It's not rumored that Facebook is buying Val, so don't worry. If or if Gaben would just like cash out and like other people would run the company and start whoa, like releasing whoa. games yearly. Valve is buying <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> no, they they don't need Facebook. Piss off. How did we get here? That's <laughs> In Joey's general, nightmare. Can we think of any like game titles that will be the biggest nightmare ever to like figure out? Just What do you mean? I mean the if they were like came back, out. you mean? Like No no, if you find like a sequel in a sequel and it's called like uh Portal V and it's Portal mixed with a different game, how could you make the shittiest sequel ever? Team um, Portal three. What? Portal uh no. I think I was gonna like, make like Portal and Dance Port Dance Revolution. Like, <laughs> League of Dota would be <laughs> oh. Heroes of League of Dota. Wow. What do you guys? That'll be what Super guys... Resident Sleeper. <laughs> what do you guys think about a uh, Portal Amnesia? Uh, that would be oh, pretty that? awesome. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, like, all you can have is like a portal gun, and you like shit your pants because a monster jump you. You just oh. go like. Ching, Listen, ching. you could mod that shit, right? Guys, Gaben, if you're listening to this, make can you imagine any modders? You shoot a portal at a wall, and all of a sudden. You like, 
a fucking monster comes through the portal instead of you, and you get like jump scared because there's a portal at your feet, and fucking monster f just comes right out of it. That would scare the shit out of me. Yeah, but what if they walk in and you get like you get like the infinite loop? That would just be funny then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a fucking uh, how's that thing called? Uh, how's the main monster called from Amnesia? Mr. Happy Face. Steve. Well, you have like Steve, Steve just going in an infinite Kevin. cycle, and it's just the, the scary music is still going though. It's just like <laughs> it tries to put you in this theme of like really grim uh, atmosphere, and meanwhile there's just a monster spinning in infinite cycles. No, I think there should definitely be a horror game with portals, and I'm not sure if there is already one, but there needs to be one. Because but guys, what what do you, what do you guys think about games that got released recently that? were like really hyped turned out to be shitty and if they would make a sequel of them what would be like the absolute worst one like amaze me oh, the, the, the problem is though that not a lot of new ips have been brought out the order basically don't make a second order that. <laughs> but that's, that's yeah, but, there's like a lot of people or a lot of game studios making sequels now there's not really a lot i don't of... think i don't think the order got that overhyped to be honest um, <laughs> it was got way too much hype for what it is that's for sure there will be prequels instead of sequels. Five Nights oh, God, at no. Freddy's Four coming out next week. To be yes. honest, I would, I would. Uh, is anyone like in, even in chat who really liked uh, Borderlands a pre sequel? Because I only bought it because I really like Borderlands Two, and one was fun, but two was like amazing, the humor and everything. And then they just made the pre sequel. I <laughs> hope everything they... that was fun in Borderlands Two, <laughs> and they out. were like, we don't really, we don't really, we we can just like not put it in the game we just have it like being really repetitive and not fun and uh, like see, have really dull characters and we'll make a new game and people will love it right <laughs> i didn't buy that game because i knew it was going to be something like that, that i hope I they don't bring out a it. borderlands 3 because the first I, it was really really good just keep it at that they they announced it and i was excited because a new borderlands and they were gonna like they were like oh pre-sequel and it's it's gonna be it, what happens to handsome jack and then i was like this is just milking off the story this is nothing new it's gonna be on the moon there is zero gravity and like it got more flaccid and flaccid every fucking word i heard and then i saw some gameplay trailers and i was like oh you actually have oxygen so you can't explore because exploring wasn't fun in borderlands 2 right and that's and the moment I... Joey grew a mangina. Exactly. What? That's why I. That's why he's always cranky. <laughs> Sand in Sand in his vagina. I like Mike's ones. Uh, no, no moonstones in my vagina. Moonstones <laughs> in his vagina. I like Mike's one. H two Z two. H two Z with two. That game is not even like the norm. The H one Z one is not even finished. <laughs> yeah, but knowing early access games, there will be a new one oh, for H one Z one. It's a good game, Max. Don't try to rip it. I, I li I'm sure it's a good game. I'm sure that it's, it'll be updated. Yeah, updated Z3. They fix it. To be honest, like there are a think, lot of though, bugs. They fixed m most still, of them. Yeah, I'm sure. But I, they, think I mean, like, if they if they would want to make a new, a really new H1Z1, they'd have to make a new engine too, because the current engine isn't that good. To be honest, there aren't there either. aren't that many there aren't that many good engines that I can think about like right off the bat, because you obviously you have the Unreal Engine, which a lot of games are uh, are made in. But yeah, if you think about the source. source engine, the source engine is like so diverse because they made Counter Strike in it, but they also made Dota in it. Like two completely different games, both made in the same engine, and that's amazing. Or you yeah. do uh, Unity, but, so you can make pineapple. Uh, what was it called? Origins. <laughs> pineapple. No, pineapple. Adventure. Oh God. Something with pineapples. Who chronicles. the fuck? <laughs> pineapple Chronicles. There, there we go. Yeah. Pineapple Chronicles. Yeah. Oh, guys, can you imagine Pineapple Chronicles well, too? Two. I rip my fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, think, oh, look! Uh, look who's in chat. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the, I still think like uh, Hotline Miami missed the biggest sequel prank or title they could have made okay. because their first game is called Hotline Miami and their second game is called Hotline Miami Two. Wrong number. How did they not make Hotline Miami 3 wrong number? Wrong number. <laughs> because, yeah, that like, be that's fun. the perf. I don't know. How did you not think of that? Please, please. Oh. <laughs> I was so disappointed as well. I was like, because oh, all the grandmas will like, oh, do you want to buy? You want me to buy uh, my, uh, Hotline Miami uh, wrong number? Well, fuck, which one? <laughs> so was, with COD, there was always like, if you played the previous COD from that year, so like the. 
up to date is Advanced Warfare. And if you go to Ghost or Black Ops 2 now and it's Christmas, you will get a lot of people that got like bought the wrong card. It's hilarious. Yeah. I think like they should either do it like numbers or names, but not do it like <laughs> two things at the same time, like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Just make it 4 or Black Flag. But there are so many Call of Duties, they actually had like 2 and 3, and then they were like, oh, let's go Modern Warfare, let's go uh, Black Ops. Yeah, they had a and problem then went... with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, because that couldn't, because there would be Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. So we're basically just screwed from the yeah, but, get -go. Well, I mean, if you if you look at the Final Fantasy series, you know exactly how many games they made, right? But yeah, if you no, no, at... no, not really, because they made fourteen and a half. So. Kind all right, of. all they right, but you know, you know, kind of how many games they made. But if you look at like uh, Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag, you're gonna think like, oh, they they made four games, but no, they fucking didn't. I wish they did. <laughs> There's gonna be a new. Uh, thingy or new Assassin's Creed game release, right? Of course, right? Oh god! <laughs> they, of course, they, Wasn't no, the Assassin's uh, Creed broke? I yeah. literally cried when I saw it because it was exactly Black Flag, but it was like snowing a little bit or something. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> was, this was, like, takes place in Antarctica, <laughs> and they already <laughs> they already released that for like I don't, I didn't even know like. Who's who's released PS for the 360 and yeah. PS3? They're they already PC. released it, and they they're like, oh my god, guys, we made it for PC. You're gonna buy it now. And yep. they already they also made like a Assassin's Creed for PSP or something, and they re-released it for PC with all new modern graphics. And I just like I just face bombed so hard. It's like unreal. beating a fucking horse in the afterlife. That's just that <laughs> thing has been milked more than anything. I've, it's just how many Even games are more there than now? Joey's titties. Exactly. But now you get to play Altair because that makes sense. What? No, Assassin's what? Creed is literally the worst. With this, Ubisoft is the worst company with their season passes because right off the bat, oh, you can get the game, but yeah, we also made like like the rest of the game which should just be in the standard package as a DLC. Day, day one DLC is like the worst middle finger to gamers ever. <laughs> And they say, like, oh, this is two hours of gameplay. And then you play, and it's like 10 minutes of you being like, uh, you get like a sword. Wow, that's where. <laughs> you get a sword. <laughs> that's worth all your money, right? That's the thing what happened for me when uh, Dragon Age Origins released uh, DLC, because those were actually like proper DLCs for like five bucks. And you had like a lot of content and a lot of new stuff. And then for Inquisition, I was looking at the DLC list, and I was like, this is either free or really dull. <laughs> so, what the hell happened? Yay! Yeah, but there was, don't, don't get me wrong, there's also really good uh, DLC that's worth getting. Like the Dark Souls 2 DLC, they were so good. And like they had all new areas, new monsters, new items. That's awesome because it, it, it didn't feel like they like left that out of the game from the start. Because if they just add things that should have been there right away, like a, an area that connects to somewhere, which is like logically or, or like items that you that make you OP just because you bought the DLC, like stuff like that. I just I just think it's so silly, but once again, too many stupid people who actually buy it. So yeah. <laughs> I think uh Clam and Jay it was, I think, wanted to hear <clears throat> another this is totally irrelevant to what we just spoke about, but they wanted to hear a discussion that beards on Twitch are basically the same as boobs. Like if you have a giant beard you will get the same as if you just pull your shirt down, like. I think what there's what some truth asking is something. Else. John is like halfway there, I think. I'd say. Uh... Listen, this is like two months right now. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at it. Oh, this well, is like three months. Uh... <laughs> I've been going my entire life so far. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have not shaved ever. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot. Of, like a lot of the top streamers, like either have a beard or have some crazy hair going on just yeah but this, yeah, this that, is fashion. is he actually rubbing his beard on his microphone that is i mean what whatever you mildly call arousing. did you or did you not mildly shave off your pubes and stick them on your face oh god <laughs> I, I plead the fifth what he pleads the fifth man i, I plead the fifth is the right to remain silent uh but wait you, you have cannon will be used against him uh, who is it? Is it Co Carnage who has like a giant beard, or is it... he yeah. has a, a big beard? He's a big and beard. Elheim. Yeah. Yep. I mean, 
it is kind of like a thing that if a guy has a giant beard, he will get some viewers that will like compliment him on his beard, which is kind of odd, but... Yeah, but it's just the like same the thing as Boot Camp. Doesn't, because... doesn't Kriparian have like a really filthy beard as well? He has this like ring beard, yeah, with this yeah. patch right yep. But the, I think... <laughs> compared to... to your face! <laughs> So <laughs> I I think in relation to boobs though, beards are nowhere near because no streamer or no one's gonna go through <laughs> the fucking list. <laughs> we is done for tonight, guys. <laughs> no one's gonna th go through the list and be like, oh, that guy's got a big beard. Let me check that out. They're gonna well, be like, oh, that people, girl's got a big beard. People do though, like. No, people I know do that. Not as much as people True. will scroll through and get With them. all these 12 year olds and 8 year olds and 6 year olds that I've been getting on Twitch, definitely boobs are like the bigger. The bigger. The, the, <laughs> no, not like the, the bigger <laughs> attraction. You have viewers that span from the ages of what now? Like 11 to. I don't know how old people are on Twitch. I don't know what the oldest age is on Twitch, but the young. I feel like. A lot of younger viewers are more attracted to that than people who are actually just wanting to watch like game strategies or relate to someone their age who's not showing cleavage on Twitch. Yeah, they want to look up to someone, basically. Yeah. Well, sort of. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> joke, I remember being like eleven and on YouTube and seeing uh and like I don't know if you guys know what is gamer tag. Yep. Well, he is like uh. 40 year old almost I think and he, no I think he's past 40 I believe well somewhere around that at least and he um, gave a lot of ad advice it. to his younger viewers and I would look up to him like he was uh, I respected oh. like his opinions Mil and stuff. Mil Monday was like the shit like he I see his shit still and he's kind of I, I changed my view on him a little he's still funny as fuck but I wouldn't take all his advice for gra like just take it and use it and yep. take it with a grain of salt but a lot of younger viewers look up to older like streamers and stuff and just want to yeah they respect them a lot and if you have a giant beard that just sets your reputation as like uh, a wise guy basically for them almost I yeah. think uh, I think Sfai had a pretty good uh, comment there as well because <coughs> he he, uh, he asked what what is up with uh, streamers and like in in his uh, case blue hair but but colored hair there's a lot of streamers yeah. who like paint their hair a really bright well, color just to get yeah. to be like to I stand out in the crowd. I could set up a donation goal and say like if I hit 200 I will shave myself like get myself bald on all areas. Yeah but it works if you're a big did you see Soda Pop and paint his hair pink everyone went f out of their minds. Yep. And it actually People worked and he like hoard they themselves him. out and pay shit tons of money for that and I mean it's kind of a legit strategy because I think Syndicate and stuff got like I think Syndicate did it for charity even I'm not sure. But he raised like twenty thousand dollars for painting hair blue. Yep. Yeah. That, I mean, it's okay if you do it for charity, of course. It's different. But I'm I mean, not sure. Uh, speaking about whoring yourself out, like, you guys heard about this girl who did like, oh, a top donator will get a date with me. That's like, oh, oh. my god, just <laughs> literally the worst thing ever. Yeah. That's like. That's uh. It wasn't yikes. even a good date. That's worse than being an <laughs> actual process. She even put out. <laughs> Wow. Uh, I see another re really good question. Um, this is for John, um, and it asks, when is he going to get good at Bashi? Yeah. Oh, going to get good at Bashi? Is that what they want? Yeah, when, when is it? Um, yeah. Probably never. It'll never happen. That thing is type uh, kind will, of impossible to do. Will you keep playing it? Uh? Um, I will try to keep playing it if I don't <laughs> kill myself in the process. Or How many headsets? Else. How many headsets do you have spare? No, listen, I'm not Kai. I don't break my headsets. I don't know. I Caress kick them, things after gently. I'm done. Oh god! So there will be a is few your holes dog in my safe? walls. Is your dog? No, I broke three of his ribs already. <laughs> There's a, another another good question from uh, from Morgan. Kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, that, that's the one I tried to. <laughs> what good games are you uh, are you looking forward to this summer, if any? Uh, what games are coming out this summer? Good question. <laughs> God, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about this. Ask another question. I'm not sure about this summer, but this year, uh, I think number one is going to be uh, Rainbow Six Siege. That has been on my I list for a that. very long time. I will get that. Um, I signed up. Oh, I actually Batman, signed up Batman. for the for the beta for that. Batman. 
Oh yeah, the new Batman. That's that's probably going to be awesome as well. Yeah, the Batman mess. New Batman? On. I didn't Hold know. On. Oh wait, yeah, I did. Hold I didn't know about. It. Any no, other no, games? No, uh... no, 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 no. Um, I'm not really sure why all the games are coming out. That look at that flag. That's like so nationalistic. <laughs> that's oh, the Pokemon Jesus. pillow. America. Do, don't you guys have like a Dutch flag hanging somewhere in your room? I have an English flag <laughs> somewhere. John, speak like oh Batman my God. now, please. Speak. I'm I'm Batman. Batman. <laughs> That's all he does. So Batman, what That's games are you looking forward to? With the beard. <laughs> beard, beard man. <laughs> beard it's man. like this thing's going to my eyeball right now. Oh, <laughs> it it kind of hurts. You don't need eyeballs anyway. This is quality. This is, true. This is the Batman life. Um, other games I'm looking forward to. I will be good if I bring up a list. Um, 2015 games. <laughs> wow, so unoriginal. Uh, you have I'm the Witcher. At... I never played any Witcher Ooh, games. Wild Hunt. Wild Hunt is going to be yes. good. Oh, that's going to be good. That is going to oh, be so good. On probably the most hyped indie game ever known to man, No Man's Sky for the PS4, Whoa. and then eventually the PC. I will be getting that. Don't notice one. Uh, okay. you don't. You didn't heard of No Man's Sky? No, nope. uh, basically okay. you travel a but uh, through. But I don't know what you do exactly, but you travel from like planet <laughs> to fun. planet, and That's there's great, though. <laughs> it's basically there's a lot I of get space it. discovery. Uh, Halo Five Guardians, I'll be getting that. Oh right, that's that's the little thing. And I don't know when their show is going on TV. Uh, Showtime Halo has a Showtime show now. Um, okay. Tom Clancy's The Division. That got postponed again. To again. when? Still in 2015 or now 2016? Mm, I'm not sure. I think it's still huh. 2015. I, well, I still I, want I, it. I'm really like inner, innerly conflicted about Tom Clancy <laughs> games because I really like Tom Clancy games, but I really fucking hate Ubisoft. So, you know, if they yeah, just... Yeah, I've... Ubisoft has been leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Just, like, just, that's their that's their last chance to that, get things right with me. someone pee from, like, the top row or... Yeah, it's like <laughs> someone just pissed on me. Um, if, they, also, if they actually manage to ruin like uh, the division, like they did with Watch Dogs, which I don't even want to talk about <coughs> Watch Dogs, That's, that that game doesn't exist for me. If they're gonna like ruin the division the way they did with Watch Dogs and ruin Siege, I'm I'm literally I'm I mean people say this a lot, but I'm never gonna touch a Ubisoft game ever again because they did so many things wrong in the past, and I, I don't know they they have like little credit left for me. Yeah. It's apparently postponed to summer 2016. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Summer 2016, that's okay. That's a giant postpone. So, um, another game, apparently. Uh, Star Fox. But what? I'm sorry, Flores, what? No, you go first to your Star Fox. <laughs> Star Fox, definitely something I really want to play. Because, you know... I think I, face, man, come on. Yeah, sorry. I feel like being <laughs> I Batman. I like today. it. It's kind of like some... Sec I'm not going to go into that one. <laughs> it makes it a little unique. And very I wanted to a... say, what's up? <laughs> go, on. go on. I wanted to say there's gonna be Minecraft story mode apparently. Oh, what? what? <laughs> Minecraft what? story mode. Oh, oh right, yes. Yeah, Telltale, Telltale Games is working on that. Yeah, Telltale Minecraft. Ooh, yep. that's. Oh. I, I'm excited for that. I am. That's gonna be interesting. The only thing I mean, is I, I, I like that they're already like talking about Minecraft while they haven't even released. Uh, Part two of Borderlands or like three of Game of Thrones. They're just oh, we'll just make a new game. These aren't done. I'd rather have them make The Wolf Among Us two than Minecraft. But hey, I'm who really, am I, right? I'm really excited about Minecraft because I'm really curious to see where it goes. Because I really want to know how that how that turns out. They're gonna have Delta, to make like an Delta entire. games have good cred. They're gonna have to make they... another story out of the blue though, because Minecraft is just. I think. Yeah, but with. With Borderlands, they worked together with the developer really close, so it was it was both a Telltale games and a Borderlands games, and it has it had like the the Borderlands humor and like a bit of the of the like the gameplay and the lore, and that's awesome. If they could do that for Minecraft, but just make it like really creative, which yeah. they can really they can really do at. Uh, yeah, I think that the 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 thing they their, their curse is also their blessing in that. They have nothing to work on, but on the other hand, they have nothing to work. Yeah, but so Wait, no, so no, they can you don't do have anything to expect. Yeah, because yeah. there is no story, because they can just make it as creative as they want. Yeah, Walking Definitely. Dead was still the best one in my opinion. I, I, I don't heard really... season two was kind of shit, though. I can't, I can't I say. I, 
I liked one the most because I haven't played Game of Thrones yet. I'm gonna get that when they've released all the episodes. But I like The Walking Dead one and two. I like The Wolf Among Us. I like Borderlands. Uh, what am I missing? I don't think there's a lot more. Oh, Game of Thrones. Did you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, oh okay. Joey. What? Joey just fucked up the overlay again. Yeah. No, he, oh, he fucked it up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry, wrong. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Well, it's not that bad, but it's still there. Joey, what happened? <laughs> Did someone okay. start vacuum cleaning? Um, all right, so I'm going to add three more games to that list now. Uh, you have Star Wars Battlefront, which I'm kind of worried for, but it's Battlefront, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. Mm. The Legend of Zelda game. And uh, what else was I going to say? Um, Until Dawn, that <laughs> scary PS4 game. Sorry Until about Dawn? that. I have not I have not heard of Until Dawn. Um, Joey, this is now your it's new a, face. It's basically a horror game. Uh, let me bring it up here. Mate, developer, <clears throat> um, Supermassive Games. It, Until Dawn is yeah. an upcoming adventure survival horror video game developed <laughs> by Supermassive Games and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. And Yeah. Okay. Oh, Max, it's, okay, you not, please. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nice scary game to look forward to. I mean, oh, okay. you kind of did um, this to yourself, Joey. Oh, there you go. Okay. I think I'm most excited for Battlefront because I played that shit when I was a kid a lot, and I really need that game back in my life. Hopefully, it doesn't end up like uh, Battlefield. Oh, you are. Let's hope so. You're, you got rid of it right as I did it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Max. No worries. <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> Um, should we give John some ad for, like some, some ad space and uh, cut it off after that, or do you guys yeah. have? Like... No, we still need to do a little announcement after that. But and Q and A. Oh no, so we are we done with Q and A? John, yeah. right? you yeah. can hurry yourself out for a few minutes if you want to. All right. Just talk about um, your stream and uh, what's going on Katie, over there. And Katy Perry. Katy Perry. I'll say you check her out at, at Katy Perry. That's her Twitter handle. Um. <laughs> Her Instagram wasn't should be at, also wasn't Katie it, Perry. It was at Plastic Bag in the Wind, right? <laughs> yeah, it's at Plastic Bag. Um, also, you can follow the fan at club Lucha. at Katie Cats. I am a Katie Cat. Um, no, but if you want to follow me, I don't stream as often as it should be because I'm at school, but over break, over summer break, which will be happening in two and a half so months, I'll be streaming hopefully a good amount, depending on my computer likes to work. I tried to stream over this break. But my computer poops a lot, and it's not fun. But you can follow me at BH Gamer TV as a lot of droppings. Yes, and um, I streamed a lot of Bosch this week, and I got very angry at myself. That's that's really it. Who wants to do the amount, uh, announcement next, Joey? Flux. Can we do? Oh, we need to decide this. Can we just do it the four of us together, or no. yeah, in sync? Uh, we're going to say the same yeah. thing at the okay. same Three. time. Sync up. Ro ro One. Rock saves boot. And no. Uh, <laughs> basically, um, after a long consideration and many vetoes and many crying and, and bleeding and sweating, uh, we have uh, decided that we are going to move this podcast from the Tuesday evenings, 8 p.m., to Monday evenings. And that's going to take hold. Uh, so next Monday, but so basically next Monday is an extreme instead of next Tuesday. Uh, I think the time will still be the same, 8 p.m. Yeah. Central yeah. European time. Yep. Uh, so, if you want to tune into it, uh, please do it on Monday because on Tuesday it will be really boring in here. Uh, uh, only Dobby will be here jerking <laughs> off into socks and it's really awkward. I'll watch it. Also, watch it that. will not be hosted on Twitch anymore. It will be hosted on uh, Chatterbait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can donate to my account. I have a lot of credits on there. Um, yeah, so next Monday, 8 p.m. Central European time. So you guys basically watch this Monday. Uh, of course, we're going to have another exciting guest on here. We're just going to keep that secret for now, but we'll uh, announce it on uh, one of our dad. Twitters. It's not his dad. It's it's Gabe. We're going to release that on, uh, uh, announce that on Twitter, so uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter. Follow um, John on Twitch. Follow John on Twitch, of you course. Mean I'm also at BH Gamer TV. I, I, just, guys, just give him like, like 10, 15 seconds to follow John. We'll wait. We'll wait for you guys. You, you can do it. Come on, <coughs> just just click the Take go to his page, down. click the like. And... Oh, I dropped something. <laughs> Did you yeah, drop you, your penis? Your amount of followers. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> so, guys, thank you for clicking that follow button uh, on John. Of course, um, 
it was lovely having you here, John. Thank you for being here. Click, Thank yeah. you for having me and have a happy <gasps> Holy Patrick's shit, you're night. not Bruce Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> I am Batman. 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 Thank you for having me today. I had a lot of fun with you uh, Dutch people. And as the, the American Dutchies. here. Thank you, Al John. Yes, uh, danke Shane. <laughs> <That's not gazelle. laughs> How do? And have a happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Happy yeah, St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, everyone. Yeah, right? today. Okay, Remember so to I'm going to... green, because otherwise you will get pinched. Mute all these fuckers, because you've been hearing these voices for way too long. Enjoy some music, and I'll see you next Monday. Next Monday. Bye, guys. Pizza. Pizza.